What's up everybody, it's Alex from Everything for iPod. Today I'm continuing my Hackintosh project 2012 in this video. And in this episode I'm showing you how you can make a bootable USB drive to boot Mountain Lion off of so that we are going to be able to plug it into our uh, computer and boot uh, Mountain Lion onto it. So there's a few things you're gonna need. The first off, it might seem a little bit weird because we're building a Hackintosh, but you're going to need an actual Mac. And it actually can be another Hackintosh, it just has to be something that is running Mac already. It cannot be running Windows. So you need at least uh, the, the latest version of Snow Leopard or newer, so the newest version of Snow Leopard or newer will work. Um, basically, you just need to have the app, the Mac App Store on your computer. So if you can borrow a friend's Mac or something, if you don't have one in your house, if you can borrow a friend's or go to a library maybe that has Macs there, whatever you can do, just try to get your hands on a Mac. Um, if you like definitely cannot get your hands on a Mac for 20 minutes for whatever reason, um, and you don't feel comfortable, I mean, you could always go into the Apple Store and do it and just try to be sneaky, you know, installing stuff onto a flash drive. They may or may not like you doing that. Most likely they won't give you an issue, so I would try going into an Apple Store. But if all else fails, I'll put a link in the description to another video. Uh, somebody else's video, I'll go find one that um, tells you how to do it because you can actually use a PC disc to do it. So if you can't get your hands on a Mac, it just makes things way more difficult. But um, I'll drop a link in the description to help you out. So besides a Mac, we are also going to need to download OS X Mountain Lion off the Mac App Store. It's $20, which is very cheap for an operating system. Um, we're building a Hackintosh as it is, so the least you can do to support Apple and what they're providing you with is giving them $20 for their operating system. So just go do that. Once you buy it, you can download it to as many computers as you want. Um, so just make sure you have that downloaded. And when you have it downloaded, make sure that you have it in your applications folder. It should be called install OS X Mountain Lion. You can see I have two hard drives in my computer. I have my SSD, which I boot off of, and then a Macintosh HD, which I just um, store files on. You have to have the install OS X Mountain Lion inside of your boot drive. So if you only have one hard drive, don't worry about it. But I have two, so I have to make sure that I have it um, in the hard drive that I boot off of. So. Um, I just took it from Macintosh HD and copied it into my other applications folder inside of my SSD. So make sure that it is on your boot drive and not a separate hard drive. And we are also going to need one more thing. Um, we are going to need UniBeast. So you can get this, I'll put a link in the description where you can download this. Um, and it's just a, a simple zip file, we're going to need that a little bit later. But the, And you're also going to need at least an 8 gigabyte flash drive or bigger. So go ahead into your Applications folder and then into Utilities. Head into Disk Utility and open this up. Most of you should know what this looks like already if you've ever, you know, experienced Mac before. Um, basically it's going to give you a list of all your drives. We want to select our flash drive. You can see I have a 32 gigabyte flash drive. Select your Partition tab. Select one partition layout. Then select Mac OS X um, Extended, Mac OS Extended Journaled options and make sure it's on master boot record and rename it to USB select apply and then partition keep in mind that it will delete everything off of your flash drive when you do this so if you have any important files on it make sure you back them up because there's no way to get them back once you delete them off this flash drive okay once it's done it should just remount back on your computer and you should see that you have an empty flash drive once that's done, go ahead and to where you have your um, UniBeast zip file installed. So on my computer, I just made a little Hackintosh folder. Wherever you have this UniBeast downloaded to, just double click it to unzip it and then open it up. If it doesn't let you open it up because it says you don't have permission because you're on Mountain Lion, what you need to do is head into System Preferences, Security and Privacy, click the lock, type in your password, and then go ahead and select anywhere under the general tab. So that's if it's giving you something like you do not have permission to open this because of security reasons. Uh, I do not get that, so I'm just going to go ahead and open it. Select continue, 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 agree. And now when this pops up, go ahead and click USB. And now if you, um, this is where it might change depending on what you are using. So. 
Um, if you are using a socket 1156 motherboard that uh, doesn't have rate matching hub, which is RMH, um, select legacy USB support. Most of you won't have to do that. And if you're doing this on a laptop, which probably most of you aren't, check that off. I'm doing neither of those, so I'm just going to select continue and then install. It's going to ask me for my password. I'm just going to click continue. And this really shouldn't take that long. The max it should take is about 10 or 15 minutes if you have a really slow computer. Um, sometimes it'll say that there's like hours remaining, like six hours or something like that. If it does, don't worry about it. It won't take that long. To, again, the max it should take is 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm going to let this run and come back when it's finished. Okay, I'm back after about 15 minutes. And I just want to say that... Uh, when you're doing it, the little progress bar that appears is going to freeze. It's going to get less than 50% completed. Uh, for me, it got to less than 50%. It probably looked around like 40%. Then it said 6 minutes remaining, then like 20 minutes, and it kept going up and up in time. It finally got all the way to, I think it was like uh, 53 minutes or something, and then it completed. So just be aware that the progress bar is broken in UniBeast, so it installs perfectly fine, but the progress bar doesn't work. It's going to keep backing up the time, and the progress bar won't, won't move after it freezes. So just give it some time. I gave it about 15 minutes, and it finally completed. So then I can just hit close, and I am done. I have my USB drive right here. So stay tuned for the next part of the video, or the next uh, video in the series where we're going to use this and install it onto our Hackintosh. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next episode and I will catch you in my next video.